Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up integration to transfer new contacts from Google Contacts to eSputnik. This is necessary to automatically transfer new contacts from Google Contacts to other systems. For example, in eSputnik you can add new contacts and set up email and SMS mailings for them. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, select the data source system, Google Contacts. Now choose an action. Get Contacts, New. At this stage, you need to connect your Google Contacts account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you must specify the login and password of your Google account. We make sure to provide all access. When the connected account appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. There are no additional settings for the Google Contacts system, so just click Continue. At this stage you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. Now, you see an example of data for one of your Google Contacts contacts, if you are satisfied, click Continue. At this point, setting up the Google Contacts data source has been successfully completed. Now you need to move on to setting up the data destination. Select the system eSputnik. Next, select an action, add contact. At this stage you need to connect your eSputnik account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you must specify the login and password of your eSputnik personal account. When the required fields are filled in, click Continue. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. At this stage you need to select an address book in which new contacts will be added with each new contact from Google Contacts. Next you see eSputnik fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from Google Contacts to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When all required fields are filled in, click Continue. At this stage you see an example of the data that will be sent to eSputnik in the form of new contacts with each new contact from Google Contacts. If you are not satisfied with something, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to eSputnik. After successful sending, go to eSputnik and check the result. If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. At this point, setting up eSputnik as a data destination has been successfully completed. Now you need to enable auto-update and select an update interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.